I've been using Colt or KVLT drums for a while now to get a good old school black metal drum sound. So I thought I'd just do a quick video to show you how I've been doing it. So before you watch the rest of the video, I thought I'd play you a mini little track that I've written, which is just a couple of riffs, using the drums, because if you don't like the sound of it, you probably don't want to watch the rest of the video. But if you really like the sound of it, then you probably do want to watch the rest of the video. So if you liked that little track, then let me explain how I got that sound. To get the guitar sound, I've literally just used the Dark Terror with the settings like so. So gain is at about 2 o'clock, and the shape is about 2 o'clock, and volume was at a level that didn't destroy my house. I've used an orange 1x12 with a ProDipe TT1 Pro mic set up there just to the right of the orange sign and I used my Crimson Guitars Descendant I've also put a link in the description on where you can get these amazing drums so the first thing I'll do is set up 8 tracks of the drums and then I'm going to name each one. So I always put one single drum per channel just so that I can individually mix, I can individually EQ, I can individually add compression and panning, etc., to each drum, and I don't have to worry about affecting any of the other drums. So then I am going to add EQ. So most of the drums I've created an EQ patch, so I'm just going to add those in. So if you want to know what EQ I'm using, just pause this video at any time on these and you can just copy where I've EQ'd. So I've done the kick, now I'm doing the snare. Again, if you want to copy any of these EQs, just pause the video. And one for the toms. I'm only going to show you one tom because I use the same EQ on all three of the toms and you're probably already bored looking at this EQ section so I'm not going to do all of them. So then one for the hi-hat. I haven't EQ'd the ride because I think it sounds spot on as it already is. I mean all the drums sound spot on but I just like to tweak things a little bit just for my own taste. and one for the crash one of the things I love about these Colt drums or KVLT drums is that they sound a lot more real because obviously they are real but they sound a lot more real than other drum programs I've used and they give me that black metal old school black metal sound that I've not been able to get from any other drums now I'm just going to pencil in a very basic drum beat, so that's the kick, I'm just literally putting in double click beats. For the snare, I'm just putting in a beat. And same for the 
hi hat. I've just sped that up a little bit. So then I'm going into the drums and I'm actually humanising them. So what that does, if you just plug in drums on a drum software like this, normally all the drums sound identical, whereas when a human being plays it, they don't. Every drum will have a slightly different attack and volume and velocity. So this humanises the sound. And what I like about this is once you've applied the humanisation to one, it will apply it to the others. So now I'm going to turn all the EQ off and play you the drums as they would sound without any EQ. And then I'm going to put the EQ on and let you hear the difference that the EQ makes. And now I'm going to go back into each of these channels and turn the EQ on and you'll hear a slight difference so they all sound a bit brighter. So now I'm going to go in and add a little bit of compression. So sometimes I use compression purely to lift up the level of the drum. And again, I'll add the compression and you can see what settings I've got on each of these drums. So this is my kick compression setting, my snare. Again, these are all ones that I've pre-programmed previously. I've found something that I like the sound of and I've just saved them as presets. So now that I've set up the drums, I'm going to go in and add in the guitar. So that'll be the audio section. And again, what I'll do is just name those and then record them so I'm not going to bore you with all these it's just guitar one two three four bass one two so I'll go ahead and, and put the guitars in now and record those and then come back so I've now recorded the guitars I've just got one guitar to the left one to the right uh, so I've used the orange dark tower and I've recorded two bass tracks one clean bass track and one distorted bass track I've created a simple mix as well so now that I've mixed it down a little bit, let's have another listen. <laughs> 